Hello, my name is Horace Ballard. Welcome to Monticello. And we are standing in the South Square room. Above the mantle is one of the great treasures of American art. And this is what is called the Edge Hill portrait of Thomas Jefferson, done by Rhode Island artist Gilbert Stewart. Jefferson sat for Gilbert Stewart, first in Stewart's studio in 1800, and again in Gilbert Stewart's Washington studio when Jefferson is president in 1805. From these two sittings come three portraits. The first is what we might call an Athenian portrait of Thomas Jefferson, which essentially means he is painted like an orator. The second portrait that Gilbert Stewart painted of Thomas Jefferson is what we call the medallion portrait. The medallion portrait was thought by Jefferson's extended family to be the best image of him. The Edge Hill portrait of Thomas Jefferson seems to also have come from that sitting. It is painted on a mahogany board and the background is a greenish gray. It is a portrait of a man who we can see is very tall and very broad. This portrait also shows Jefferson turned to the side, but then his head pivots back to us. It's one of the few portraits of Jefferson in which he confronts the viewer specifically. He is very, very concerned about the framing of his own image, and this portrait gives us that sense. It is an incredible, an incredible American treasure.